हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand parallel interface in communication system. The parallel interface is used for communication with peripheral devices, which are memory mapped to the host of the system. The parallel interface, which will be present on board, is used for communication with peripheral devices, which are memory mapped to the host of the system. If we say host of the system. it is microprocessor or controller the host microprocessor or microcontroller of embedded system contains parallel bus and the communication through parallel bus is controlled by control signal interface between the device and the bus so these microprocessor or controller consist of parallel bus and the communication through parallel bus is controlled by control signal between the device and the bus to which the device is interfaced the control signal for communication includes read or write signal and also it consist of select signal so the control signal consist of read or write signal for read or write operation and also it consist of select signal which means the device normally consist of the device select line and the device will be active only when the line is asserted by the host processor so we can say select lines are used to select the device which are interfaced with the host processor depending upon the select lines which are activated by the host processor the direction of data transfer can be controlled by read or write signal so the direction of data transfer can be controlled by read or write signal lines that are present in the host processor or controller only the host processor will have the control over read or write signal lines so the host processor or controller will have control over read or write signal line so that it can decide the direction of data transfer in the system a device will be memory mapped with the host processor and a range of address is assigned to it so the device is memory mapped with the host processor once the device is memory mapped with the host processor a number of address is assigned to the device a address decoder circuit is used for generating chip select signal so the address decoder circuit is used to generate the chip select signal for the device when the processor selects the address the address decoder circuit will activate the chip select line and thereby the device will become active so when processor select address then the address decoder circuit will activate the chip select lines thereby the device will become active once the device is active the processor can read or write from or to the device so once the device become active then the processor can read from the device or it can write to the device by using control lines R D R W R respectively. So it can use control lines R D R W R respectively to read or write from the device. For parallel communication, strict timing signals are followed. As we have discussed earlier, the parallel communication is controlled by a host processor or controller. but if device want to initiate communication it can inform the processor through interrupt signal so as we have discussed parallel communication is controlled by host processor or controller but if device want to initiate communication then it can inform the processor or controller by sending the interrupt signal to send the interrupt signal interrupt line of the device will be connected to interrupt line of the processor or controller 
to initiate the interrupt signal the interrupt lines of the device is directly connected to interrupt line of the processor or controller which is hosting the width of the parallel interface is determined by data bus width of the host processor or controller this figure shows the interface of the devices through parallel interface here a host microprocessor or controller is interfaced with the peripheral devices through parallel interface it consists of data bus address bus address decoder and read write and chip select lines here data bus is used for data communication between host device as well as peripheral devices here read signal is initiated to read the data from the peripheral devices and write signal is initiated to write the data into the peripheral devices here address bus is used to identify the address of the peripheral devices for communication and address of peripheral devices are identified using address decoder circuit here chip select line is used to select the particular device for communication this is about parallel interface in embedded system hope you have understood the topic thank you